Hello. Hey, hey. Hello, how are you? Hello, Miss Binks. Hello, how are you? Hello, young lady. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Des, Des Moines. <laughs> I cannot say that ever. Des Moines, um, Iowa, waving. Hi. <laughs> I know, I just slaughtered that city name, but. You're doing well? That is awesome. What's silent S? Oh, Des Moines. Okay, so it's Des Moines. Des Moines. <laughs> Still not doing it. I have a trivia question. Someone's been watching the craft. I have who? Me? Or you? Hey, where are you from? I am from the US on the West Coast. No, I'm just kidding. I'm from Cali. But why, why the... Thank you for the likes. I appreciate that. And... Who's this? Brittany. Brittany, did you like the live? Will I need a colonoscopy? Oh my gosh, I'll figure it out. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. You are so beautiful. Thank you. Will Brittany need a colonoscopy? You will not need a colonoscopy. Will the doctor figure it out? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for the likes. And for whatever those hearts are at the top, I don't know what they are. I need to learn like what everything is on here. But who said that about the craft? What what's up with that? I look like a witch. What are you implying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. <laughs> That's a good one. That was a good one. Oh, thank you for that little heart. What are those for? What do they do? Therapist, I'm going every day. <laughs> Yeah, I am, though. Um, thank you for the follow. Go back on. So I'm always... Uh, for my team? Oh, awesome. I have a team. I have horrible health anxiety and I fear the worst. I can help you. That is my specialty. Hi, I love your hair. I think you're beautiful. Thank you. I wish I could afford it. You know what? I do offer very flexible payments. Um, but for a rapid transformational therapy um, session, 
sorry, I'm fighting with my necklace right now. Um, it's two, it's usually 250, but, um, right now it's 200, but I do offer, um, the option of doing payments of like whatever you can afford a week. And then for the other things like coaching and stuff like that, there's actually an option to get financed to the, through a third party app or a th third party um, institution through the app that I use. Oh, another feeling oh, about not being able to pay 14 members on my team. Woo! <laughs> that I wish. You wish what? I'm serious. I really do. Um, and if you are really struggling because my job and my goal is to actually help people, not just to make money off of them. So if you really are struggling and um, you really genuinely can't afford it, then we can just send me a message and we'll talk about, um, you know, maybe I'll do it for like a review or something like that that I could post or something. But because um, I would much rather people actually get the help because it doesn't really make much sense to me if I'm supposed to be helping people eliminate their anxiety and their stress if I'm making it worse by, <laughs> you know. One income with a family of six. Yeah, yeah, then in your case, I definitely would be willing to help you. Um, so just send me a message and we'll talk about it. Hi, beautiful, hi. Love your face. Thanks. Yeah, because I would much rather, like, my goal is to help people. Like, I don't want to, <laughs> I think that's really messed up to turn somebody away just because, like, they are doing the best that they can everywhere else. You know, like, like they need the help, then that's the people that should be getting the most. But some therapists don't think like that, unfortunately. <laughs> And my goal also, too, is to get people in and out as quickly as possible so that they can return to normal lives, you know? I don't have, like, the intention of keeping people trapped in that loop of therapy and, and healing and self-help, like, that people stay in for years, it seems, through traditional therapy and never seem to break free of it, you know? Um, my goal is to get you fixed and fixed and out, <laughs> you know, instead of trying to keep circulating like that. Love your makeup. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hi, I'm Bonnie. Hi, I'm Jack or Amber and your jeans, whichever you prefer, or Convict Kitty. Now, the Convict Kitty is because um, of my shop on Etsy, so you guys make sure you check that out. And the Phoenix concept is actually the umbrella term for all of the stuff that I do. <laughs> And Amber Energy is my main, um, go, like, you know, handle for, um, things that are in more of, like, the spiritual side of things, and energy healing, and, um, in the therapy side, and stuff like that. Have I, hi, Erica, is Willie thinking about me right now? Did you like the live, Latino? starts. Okay. Is, I forgot the names. Is Willie thinking about Erica right now? Right now? Like right this second? No. Bonnie, have I been hermiting at home because I sense something bad is about to happen? Has Bonnie been hermiting at home because she senses something bad is about to happen? No, I'm getting a no for that. Is something bad about to happen? Is she hermiting at home for another reason? I feel like it's for another reason. With all my symptoms going on, I literally live in fear of something horrible happening or going to. Was I put into the fire when I got burned? What do you mean were you put into the fire when you got burned? I'm just getting into spirituality. I've had it in me, but I'm finally trying to tap into it. Oh, that's cool. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. 
Is the pendulum the same as like cards or no? Um, no, it's not. Um, with my pendulum, it's going to be basing it off of like my higher self and um, if it's me communicating with like another, like with the spirit, then it's going to be the spirit. Ah. The spirit helping it. But um, right now when I'm just doing like these types of yes or no questions, it's me with my higher self just connected inward to the energy of like the collective. Now, for an example of that, um, you could go on my YouTube and I have some um, yes or no question videos on there and it's just me with a pendulum. I think I actually have them on this page as well. Um, and no matter what question you're asking at that moment, like if you ask one like to test it, you know, and you're like, um, is my first name this, you know? Um, it has to be a very specific question, but um, if you ask a very specific question, the very first question that comes to mind, it will give you the answer for it. And that's a great way to test it. I'm just getting into, okay. Um, oh, I'll have a ton of questions. My questions are for me to understand more. Yeah, that's fine. Ask away. Now with cards, cards, there's a couple different ways that the readings could happen. Um, one way is that there's actually meanings for every single card and there's a reverse meaning for every single card. Um, now there's like a wide array of meanings for that same card, but they're still specific to that card. Um, but then there's also the way of reading where there, you are going off of just intuitively what you are picking up from the card because there's a lot of symbolism in them as well that stands for other things. Um, and then the other way would be um, like when somebody's um, channeling and they're getting a message and using the cards for more like confirmation um, just to like figure out what the next like message is, is like to clarify it. Um, and then there's, yeah, that's about that. I have a pen that I want to, I just want ponder. I don't know what that means. Yeah, so it depends on the, on like the, and then there's also like different spreads that we could do, or there's um, specific questions that could, could be asked. And then there's also like, um, you know, like if you're just letting a general message come out, that's going to be just whatever you're intuitively picking up from the cards that are dropping um, without asking a specific question. So there's like a lot of different styles. Um, and then of course there's also the psychology side, you know, like where it's basing it off of like, um, psychological knowledge or, you know, um, of dynamics or whatever. And the cards are helping guide it. But no matter what the cards are going to be when we shuffle them and we, and we let them jump out like that, it's the universal collective energy pulling it out. So it's going to be, um, that's why the messages match up. And that's also why it can match up for multiple people that are in the same room. Um, because of that whole collective energy. Like, as a collective, we get brought together for reasons. And it's also so the communication can be easier. My car is, I'm blind and not still there, just kind of normal and all of that. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, for instance, like, um, like if I wanted a message that was like just for you, Brittany, so give me a message just for Brittany, it would be that you're feeling a little bit hopeless right now. Um, like you don't have somebody to help you. Um, like you're kind of like being breadcrumbed with your hope. Now, let's say I wanted a collective message for everybody that's in the room right now. Everybody in the room right now is dealing with disappointment with the relationships. Or like with, with a connection, a love connection.
and possibly a imbalance with a separation. Or like an imbalanced separation. So everybody. What do you do? to heal. Um, hello from Norway. I hope you know you're loved and you're amazing and you matter and keep smiling. Thank you. You too. Okay, so what do you do to heal? Um, like, in which, which direction are you asking? Like, um, like what is the type of, like the rapid transformational therapy? Or like, what do I recommend personally for healing? Or like, Okay, so for the rapid transformational. Okay, so what rapid transformational therapy is, is um, it's a form of, it's like a combined form of a couple different um, techniques and modalities um, that are used in different therapy um, styles. Okay, so we've got, number one, it's got to do with hypnosis. It's not formal hypnosis. It's not like traditional hypnosis, I should say, um, where it's very long and draw. Um, you know, kind of drug out, but it's quick and it's rapid, keyword. Okay, so what we do is um, I would in, induce you into hypnosis um, and we would immediately go into finding the core memories or um, traumas or exact moments in time that a trauma or a belief was set into your mind and wired in. And whatever that belief is, is the one that would be, um, that you're there to have helped, right? So then once we discover where it started, then I go in and I will help you to reframe it while we are still in this hypnosis. And, um, once it is reframed and processed and released, then we can do the transformation. And that's when I would instill the new belief or the new, um, perception of the event or the new, um, like core principle that you're holding to replace that old one. And then afterwards you would have a transformation recording that you would listen to for 21 days to get it like fully wired in. So it's kind of like laser brain surgery <laughs> um, for your memories and your um, beliefs. And we would only distinctly specifically deal with those ones that caused whatever the main issue is. And it's going to be your subconscious that's bringing up the, um, where those are stemming from. Now, um, what it combines is going to be like CBT, um, just all techniques, um, hypnosis, NLP, so neurolinguistic programming, um, and a couple other like formal, like, or like, you know, like the traditional methods, but, um, just not as formal. And it's in one pretty little package that is amazingly helpful. How do I hypnose you if you're not there through a web, like just like how I am right now, except I would need your video feed as well. So a video call. Um, I usually use Google Meets or Skype. And basically I don't need to have you seeing me. I need to be seeing you. So I usually just have my clients setting their phone like on a stand next to them or something or their computer next to them. And then, um, basically like the way to induce you into the hypnosis, it's going to be, um, number one with the induction that I deliver, but number two, by having you incite your, yourself into REM, um, REM, which is rapid eye movement. So you would like look up like this and let your eyes flutter. And when you're doing that, you're actually triggering a switch in your brain that tells you that you're going into REM and it will induce you into the hypnosis while you're listening to the induction. Do your Jedi mind tricks usually work? Um, would you like to test it out? If you'd like to test it out, you could stand up and put your feet together and relax your bodies and your in your muscles in your body, and I will show you. So Spider-Man in a rural setting doesn't really work because where would his webs go? <laughs> Ask that to all the spiders. Oh. 
does it make me fall asleep? No, no. Hypnosis is not about sleep of like your actual physical body. It's actually just a sleep of the nervous system. So it would um, put you into a very relaxed and suggestible state. Um, almost like a trance like, or like a meditation, not like a meditation, like more like a trance like state. Um, and it just opens up your subconscious so that you'll, you'll just know the answers basically. Like they'll just come out and your conscious mind, like your logic mind is going to be turned off for the time being. But if at any point you needed to come out of it for some reason or, you know, something like that, then you will be alert enough to what's going on that you would be able to, um, bring yourself out of, you know, like it, it's going to, um, it's not like quite like what you see on like the magic shows, you know, like where the person like drops to the floor. It's not, that's a bit exaggerated, but it will shut down your nervous system from needing to be in that fight or flight mode where your logic brain is trying to take over. So it just lets us go straight to the subconscious. And the whole session, like the discovery call plus the actual session, um, usually doesn't take much longer than two hours for the entire thing. Um, so it's very quick and painless. And then you just listen to that recording, and the recording is only like 10, 15 minutes long. We try to keep them as short as possible so it's easy for people to digest each day. <laughs> And the recording you can even listen to like in the shower, you know, like anytime that, just anytime other than when you're driving, not when you're driving, <laughs> but like, you know, like if you're in the shower or, or like before you go to bed or, you know, like, um, it's very, very, um, convenient, I guess you'd say. And then also on top of that, um, I made sure to get myself, um, trained and or certified in a lot of different categories, like basically all of the categories I could think of, um, at least one thing in each category for each of the ways to heal. So when it comes to some of my more difficult clients or like the ones that are more complex situations, I will typically approach it with a combined actual holistic approach because I am a certified hypnotherapist as well. And I'm also a Reiki master healer and I'm also a tarot advisor and I'm also a perspective coach. So, um, and I have a lot of background with CBT and DBT and psychology and, um, yeah, so, and like emotion, trauma, blockage releases. Um, so basically whatever, whatever is need is needed is going to be addressed <laughs> to give you that whole, will this work for night tears? Uh, yes, yes. It is even helpful with things like PTSD and chronic illnesses. I actually suffered from night terrors for a long time. What is this Jedi mind trick thing? <laughs> well, I can move your body from, from over here. I can make you sway either forward or backward. As long as you're open to it. <laughs> because energy doesn't have a physical form, so it does transmute. Just like how if you have a satellite up in the sky, it can send the TV program to your satellite box and it will show up on your TV and then you could even DVR it to watch it later. That's basically how the universal energy that we use in, in these types of healing um, works. <laughs> So it can be transmuted from here to there without you actually being in front of me. What's the difference between a life coach and a wife? Well, a life coach is unbiased, hopefully, and only there for your positivity and for your success. And a wife might have some bitterness behind her or resentment at times. But in all fairness, I think it's more so the one that's receiving the advice is where it differs. <laughs> I thought you were moving that one guy. Yeah, he never said he was ready or he was going to. <laughs> I could do it to you. I mean, if, if everybody that wants to can try.
Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, well, is he still in here? still in here okay well I'm gonna do it to whoever's ready right now so put a little like thumbs up or something so I know so I can start so everybody that's gonna do it you're gonna stand up and you're gonna put your feet together and you'll just um, put your chin up a little bit and Sometimes it's easier with your eyes closed, sometimes it's easier with them open, it's up to you. Yeah, if they're able to. I don't know how to, to do it, but if you want to send like an invite in, um, request or whatever, I will approve it to bring you up. That would be a lot um, neater, actually, anyways. How about both of you? Well, the dogs, you could hold the dogs. <laughs> okay, well, are you going to try it from wherever you're at, though? Okay. So tell me when you're ready. Thank you for the likes. Just stand up with your feet together and with your chin slightly up. And um, that's, that's really it. And just be open to it. Like, don't resist it. Like, don't, like, um, try to, like, talk yourself into thinking it's not going to work or, like, you know, like, like, keep your mind open to it. That's, like, a really big important part. Um, I'll stand up, but no funny business. <laughs> okay. All right. So are you ready? So what's going to happen here is um, you're going to sway, like your body will move. And so I'm going to first off um, connect with your energy. So I'm going to tap into your energetic system. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask your body or your subconscious or your whatever you want to call it, your inner child, whatever is your energy, you know, um, to show me the answer for yes and the answer for yes is typically a forward and you should feel like <clears throat> it's almost like a magnet is pulling you like it'll like literally feel like a magnet is like <laughs> connected to your forehead or like your chest and it's like pulling your body forward. And if it didn't happen right at first, then just take a deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth and just relax your muscles and just allow the movement to happen naturally the way that it's trying to. Thank you for the follow. All right, and then now for the answer no. So show me for the answer no. And naturally that one's gonna be like, you're getting 
a magnet on your back that's pulling you backwards away from me, or as if I'm pushing you away. Okay, so now we're going to ask your body to um, let me know if your name is Brittany. is there. That's how energy transmutes. <laughs> and that's how um, we do things like distance Reiki or um, yeah, well that's cool, yeah. So that's like how, um, like when we do distance techniques or um, anything like that, that's how it works. I thought I was falling over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sometimes people will get real, oh and Polecat got a back because your name is not Brittany, and so, and back is the answer for no. You have a very kind of way of you. Thank you. I think he was saying he was back. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Um, I think I saw a question. Oh, may I get a question answered? Yes, if you're still in here. Sometimes it, it'll look like, like when I'm, I'm working with my clients, because usually for um, things that I'm using that for, um, I like to have them on the call so that I can see what, where they sway. But um, sometimes they'll be like, <laughs> to, like as if I'm actually like, pushing them, pushing them. Okay, so you did sway way back. Okay, so yeah, because your name isn't. Yeah, forward is a little bit trickier sometimes when we have like a slight resistance because um, our bodies are designed to want to rebalance ourselves constantly, you know, so that we don't fall forward naturally. So like our toes will like kind of like, um, so sometimes like when people don't feel themselves move at all, um, I ask them to pay more attention to what their toes are doing because they'll feel themselves gripping and actually recorrecting their stance before they actually have the opportunity to move anywhere else. So, but um but back is much easier to lose your stability, I feel. I definitely swayed back and forth, yeah. Are you, are you a bit tired? Because you've been running through my head all day. <laughs> Classic. Side to side before I ever moved forwards and back. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Side to side is usually when you have that little bit of the resistance too, because, um, I feel like it's like almost like our body like trying to force it, but but we're still like trying to correct it. So side to side is something that is pretty common for people to get at first. Um, sometimes we can work with that and use that as the yes or no for them in particular, but as a collective, typically yes is going to be forward and no is going to be backward. What can you feel about me? I've had a life full of up and down. I ask one more question. You can, yes, sure. Is my pain when I'm trying to have a bowel movement? Okay. Um, let me do the, what can I feel about me first? Um, let me see. I feel like you may struggle when it comes to, or you may have, yeah, there may be like an imbalance with your ability to like work on a team with people or to like um, 
communicate like as a like in a yeah team like a unit um you feel like you have like done a lot of hard work and you get you're getting discouraged about it i like your necklaces thank you and you're ready right now to actually take a new opportunity or like a new beginning you're ready for it you're considering it um however there's a feminine energy who is very um Maybe, maybe avoidant, but maybe also just, like, kind of, like, bitchy or, like, um, cold-shouldered or, like, um, harsh with her words, um, who is causing some pessimism. This could also be somebody that had passed away, um, not saying that they have that attitude, but, like, the card could represent both, so. Um, but it's a feminine energy who is causing you to um, feel, like, almost pessimistic about what you have to give up to have that connection or to have a partnership um but it's all about transmuting and transforming for you right now and yeah specifically around the lovers um it's important that you don't that you are um looks like you you haven't had your wishes fulfilled when it comes to relationships There may be a lot of like discord or jealousy or like um and there may have been a b pretty heavy betrayal that you experienced because of that hello wow that was very thumbs up you're right there okay um and then the pain Is there pain? I'm okay. I did get a yes that there is pain, but no, I'm not getting that it's from that. Hello from Wisconsin. Hello. How do you get your readings? What do you mean? How do I get them? How do I get them? Or um. Oh, hello, Jack. I just saw the name. Um, but you could book them on my website, amberenergyhealer.com, or you could go to premium.chat forward slash amberenergyhealer. And on that link, you would actually um, be able to text me or call me or video chat me um, directly. Like, it'll ring directly on my phone instead of setting up an appointment. That scares me because I definitely have one and I don't know what's causing it. Well, considering that you have a lot of fear. I do feel like it would be like connected with your root chakra um so there could be like an actual like energy blockage that's causing you to have um tenderness or like um uncomfortability but i like you and i like your face thank you and thank you for the follow It looks like, um, I'm not sure if you have kids or not, but it looks like either childbirth injuries or deliberate mistreatments. There's also no, 
negligence. Deliberate mistreatment would be like, um, <laughs> like, it could be like pushing too hard, um, you know, like when you know that it's straining you, it could be like, um, intercourse of some sort, um, it could be like, um, you know, knowing that knowing that like there is um already a problem and then still like overusing the area or like not you know like um purposely not going to the doctors for it you know like like anything that's like deliberately not helpful for that situation or um also things that could be like damaging to it so like like i said like intercourse or um you know things like that You said about your legs and feet, right? I see. But doesn't feel serious. I truly believe that some people have a gift. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll look up the legs and feet thing or life threatening because those are my fears. Okay. So it looks like for your health problems that you should be seeing a physician for. Um, like things that might be weak spots or things that might already be problematic or just things that you should be um, aware of. Because again, don't take any of this advice over um, medical professionals, okay? Keep that in mind. I have to say that for legal purposes, even though I'm very confident with what I find, but yeah, so. Oh yes, I do remember that about the dreams in the coma when you were being someone else's, yeah, Japanese. Um, but I also feel that there are people who give themselves up to you, too, if you can understand that. I do understand that, and that is actually why I intentionally and purposely and as adamantly as possible um, insist on doing cold readings with clients. I don't like to know any pre-context of what is being needed to know, because... Um, I actually start doubting the message that I'm getting sometimes because my conscious mind will be like, no, but they only said that there was this one other person and now I'm seeing two people. So, and then it'll make me actually start doubting my message. So that's why I actually intentionally tell them, don't tell me anything yet <laughs> until you hear what my first message is. And then we can go back in and get clarity on the spots that are confusing or the spots that need clarity. But my, in my initial message, I want to be as pure as possible with what I'm actually just getting and not what I'm being told first. Because a lot of times people are not being real with themselves in situations either. So it can get very complicated if people are giving too much information too soon. Um, you said it didn't feel serious. I missed that. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Is this, um, does Brittany have any serious health issues? Okay, so you do have, um, an issue that I wouldn't say serious, serious. I would say that it's like fair, you know, it's getting there, um, but it's not bad yet okay so um but and it does involve your your intestines 
but also because of It looks like kidneys. Kidneys and um, I'm also seeing something with your eyes. Um, now, when it comes to kidneys, they are actually the organ that is um, in charge of worry and ancestral worry and fear so and your intestinal tract is going to be your control over situations and your um, ability to trust your instinct so that does correlate with the fears that you said that you have now because of that that leads me back to thinking this is definitely probably an energetic blockage that is needing to be sorted out um, or else it's it'll just like redevelop you know like so I would definitely um, consider doing some energy healing or Reiki or emotion blockage release or even that RTT session um, so that we can get rid of that because a lot of what you're carrying is most likely her um, hereditary it's something that was generational it was um, ancestral worry so um, it should be very helpful though for you to get that sorted out And actually, what time is it? Oh, it's nine already. I was gonna say I could do the session right now if you wanted. Like I could end the live and then we could do it. Okay. I also have a lot of dramas. Yeah, yeah. And so um, it w it would be like really beneficial for you to like focus on um balancing out your root chakra mostly, your root chakra and your third eye. Um, I would say would be the most beneficial for you, maybe even your crown. Um, yeah, it's 11, 12 there. Yeah, yeah, it's too late right now, probably. Well, maybe. It's up to you if it's too late. For me, it's not. Um, but I'm a, my schedule's 24 hours on call, so, um, but I'm naturally more of a night person. When I'm yawning on here, it's because of <sighs> channeling. It's not because I'm tired. <laughs> But yeah, if you don't know much about the Meridians and our energies, this is um, what our chakra system looks like. And then this is what the Meridian lines look like. Most of them. Some of them. So you think the intestine issue you think is just from my fears? Um, yeah, most likely. Now, I'm not saying not to get medical treatment for it. Go and see a doctor for it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying an, in addition to the doctor, you should be doing this energy side of things because it will help it to stay away once you get it fixed. It's really great to use energy healing and... Um, psychological healing and things like that to prevent problems from occurring but it is a bit more troublesome to try to fix the problems that are already there that does sometimes take actual medical intervention for it but once you get into the hang of things and you keep your body going then then it's much um, easier to prevent the things from happening and also to heal things too. I, I mean, like I, I used to have psoriasis and eczema, um, and I don't anymore. I used to have chronic allergies that gave me sinusitis every single like season, like all year round, um, and I don't anymore. Um, I used to have very bad cluster and headaches and migraines, and it would be like um, every single day of the week I would have a headache, if not like at least like two or three like migraines a week, and I don't have that experience anymore now I have maybe one a month like I've had a stool sample a few months back so I think my intestines are okay x-ray CT scans yeah and that's where see when you start seeing that happening where the medical side just can't explain it 
but there's still the problem, that's when you definitely know. That's like a guaranteed, like, okay, the problem isn't something that's medical. The problem is something that's spiritual or like um, energetic. And because our, we literally are like powered by electricity, basically, you know, um, and that's what our nervous system is. It's literally electrical impulses that get sent through our body that are controlled by our mind. So that's why emotions and things like that can get trapped because it's almost like we short out or we short circuit that one little um, area and then the energy can't flow the right way. I'll be right back. Kids are fighting. Oh, don't mean to... oh no, go for it. Hey, should I talk to you later about what I experienced on my trip to the other side? Yeah, sure. You can always send me a message too um, if you don't. I think I'm actually. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm actually going to end my live right now though, um, because I want to go eat dinner since my boyfriend just got home from work. But um, I might be on afterwards if you're still around and want to pop back in. I was on, um, maybe two days, oh, no, the last few days I've been very upset, I haven't been online, um, my very good friend recently, um, passed away, and I had just found out about three days ago, so I was, uh, a wreck in tears <laughs> for the last couple days. I actually posted a video that was in um, dedication to him recently. Yeah, mind, I just learned anything last week, too. I'm so sorry to hear that. <clears throat> yeah, be sure to check out the video that I posted. Um, it's a little bit of an off off the normal trajectory style, but um, it's in dedication to his style. <laughs> so, and I used it as a learning experience too for the for my BPD awareness because it's a great song to represent BPD. He had stage four lung cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, my friend. We don't know exactly what happened, um, but I think it might have been. An accidental overdosing. But I'm going to, I wish you the best and I hope you are healing smoothly and properly for that. And I found out that he had it about three months ago. Yeah, yeah, see, and, and in, um, my situation, uh, I can't do this anymore. I just want to give up. I'm struggling so bad. Oh, well, welcome to my room. What's going on, Mackenzie? Have you been here before? Mental health, I can't get a break and I feel so alone. I feel like I'm drowning. Uh, I know the feeling. I certainly know the feeling. Um, I, I myself have BPD and um, anxiety and PTSD and CPTSD, so I definitely can understand that feeling of drowning and feeling alone. Um, what is it that you struggle with? with anything but I just started like being depressed okay and it just started okay we'll get you through this um have I would like to I just followed you right now 
um, I would like to be able to chat with you. Um, if you ever need anything, go ahead and send me a message, okay? So follow me back so you can do that. Um, also, there's lots of videos on my page that might be helpful and they might not be. Some of them are a little bit weird. Some of them are a little bit helpful. Some of them are very educational. Um, but let me see what I can see of what's going on with you, okay? Um, and see what I can tell you for now, at least. That's what I am with my friends. Okay. So I'm seeing something that has to do with either children or childhood memories, um, like childhood nostalgia and trying to manifest it, um, but have feeling like you've got no choices because of a powerful, not supportive man, um, maybe even a violent man, possibly abusive or manipulative. Does that feel right to your energy or am I picking up on um, something else? Stop crying, you're scared. Crying crying is a good thing. Just let it out. Don't don't try to um don't try to like restrain yourself from crying. Try to look at it from a non judgmental like viewpoint, you know, just like look at it for what it is. And it's your body just releasing that pain so that you don't have to hold it in your heart because if you bottle it up in your heart, then that'll cause you problems, like health problems. So your body's doing exactly what it needs to and it's shedding the tears. It's shedding it out of you so that you can wash it away. Yeah, my dad's been way too controlling. I'm 18 and he won't even let me drive. Ooh, I've been there too. Crying is cleansing and cleanses your soul and cry. Yes. All right, so Here's what my advice would be for you right now. If you don't feel like you're um, ready to move out yet, I just can't take the pain anymore. It's so hard. I think the key here would be for you to, um, yeah, you're going through a tower moment right now. Are you able to move out on your own? Or do you, are you like needing to live there right now still? You're scared to move out on your own? Or are you scared of your dad? I would highly, your dad's narcissistic, right? Oh, okay, yeah. So there's mom too. Mom was coming out as the queen of swords in reverse, and dad is coming out as the emperor in reverse. Tell me, um, you, have you, um, ever considered, hold on, okay, here we go, hi, you said that you do have to live at, at home still, right, how are you, what are you doing? I like the little ghosty guy. That's one of my favorite ones. You're always in bed. <laughs> we'll stay for a minute. Listen in. Okay, 
so Mackenzie, here's the deal with your situation of the key here is to allow yourself to feel powerful again. Well, it's me and I have to work a little. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, I mean, realistically, you're always in bed. Okay, so Mackenzie, the, the key here is for you to feel powerful again. It's to get yourself, like, able to feel confident. And if you've got both parents weighing down on you like that, how old are you? You just turned 18, you said. Okay. Um, so if you have both parents weighing down on you like that, it can be extremely taxing and extremely tiring. Mainly if you're trying to set off for your own independence because that's going to be probably where their resistance points are, right? Like, there, there are spots of, like, um, conflict with you. So, my honest advice um, for this type of situation is to make your life easy for you. Instead of making it hard, trying to make it yours quite yet. Because when you're 18, I mean, like, you're getting in, like, you want to be independent, right? But if you're not ready to be independent yet, then you still have to listen. And now your parents are faced with like this threat dynamic, you know, of like, um, well, how do we keep her or him under control still? You know, that type of dynamic is going to, um, is going to incite a lot of extras in your direction. And it can make yourself feel like you're getting defeated constantly because you're not able to do the things that you're trying to do. It's, it's exhausting. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Like, I bet. So, the key thing to do would be to almost, like, I know it sounds kind of wrong, but, like, realistically, it's to put on a front, a front until you're able to have that independence. Because the more... But don't do it in a way where you feel like you're selling yourself to them or something. Like, like where you're, like... Um, compromising your own independence or your own self but do it in a way that's looking at it from their perspective first you get what I mean like and then your perspective as priority <laughs> like your goals as priority but their perspective as first viewpoint if that makes sense I hope that made sense that might have sounded a little backwards but so basically what I did in my situation when I was in your situation was I freaked out on them. <laughs> I exploded. I was chaos. I went and did everything I shouldn't have done. And it made it so much worse and it made it worse for me. Now looking at this, you're beautiful. Thank you. Now looking at the situation with my parents, um, now I handle it much differently because I have taken a step out of the personalization of it because what you have to understand is that's them. You know, that's, that's just their personality. It has nothing to do with you. You're a beautiful person. And I know this because it's coming out in the cards as well. And you are also going through a time in your life that is huge. And it's meant to make you have to, like, it's meant to spark you. You know, like, to, to ignite that fire so that you have that motivation to keep, like, keep climbing, keep climbing, instead of feeling like, oh, well, I'm an adult, so I can just sit now and be, and sit pretty, you know, like, now it's like, okay, what am I going to do about this life? What am I going to do about everything? And so when you are looking for, like, things, well, number one, there is going to be friends, and there's support that is able to help you if you um, allow it, because it's time for you to celebrate this age, okay? So don't feel like you are, um, and I know this message sounds like it's coming out really jumbled up because it is, and that's the way I'm getting it, so just bear with me. <laughs> um, I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. Okay, so when you can't sleep, that's a huge sign to let you know that you don't feel like your day was fulfilling enough. There's new opportunities that you're able to take. They're coming for you currently. So don't let yourself um, give up on that yet. The new opportunities are surrounding the injustice that you're feeling. Um, it's going to have to do with celebrating, taking a kind of a leap of faith when it comes to the family misfortune that you're going through. So if there is something that you are going through with like the legal system, I don't know if that's going to apply that. 
and it has to do with partying or something, and that's part of what's causing the problems, let me know. <laughs> um, Did, are you going through anything like you still up and trying to help please hello um, I'm gonna start my name actually that's my profile oh me too um did you go through a situation like like with the legal system or like um maybe not the legal, like just getting in trouble of some sort or like there was an injustice when it surrounding like partying or um, some type of like third party energy that was causing like family problems. Maybe a divorce, maybe like. Um... Do you want to go live with me? <laughs> okay, this might not be something that you're aware of then. I feel like this. Hi, how are you? This could be between your parents then, privately. Um, I feel like that's what's causing a lot of like their um, upset. Or their like um, bitterness towards everybody. Oh no, not, not you, I was talking to um <laughs> Yeah, so this is definitely not something that's meant to be personal for you. I would really suggest that you do um, hail you back in because I need help with all the dream change you guys are doing. Okay. Oh, um, I, I wasn't, um, I wasn't asking for you to, um, spirit or evil eater. Um, I was, I was asking, um, the other person, but maybe in a little bit we can. I'm just talking to Mackenzie right now. Sorry. But definitely in the future, yes. Do you do private sessions? Yes, I do. Um, you can go to Amber Energy Healer or you can send me a message on here and we can set it up. Um, so Mackenzie, like the key here is for you to really allow yourself to take one thing at a time. You're young and you still have a lot of years of young. It's not your responsibility to have to take on the weight and the pressure of the people that are around you. Unfortunately, it seems like they are dumping some of it on you or a lot of it on you. Um, I feel like you would really benefit when it comes to getting like a piece of paper. This is actually something I personally do um, to keep my anxiety down and stuff and to keep me like on the right track. So you get a piece of paper and on the paper um, are you still in here? Yeah, okay. So on the paper, what you would do is you're going to write down all of like the main things that are overwhelming for you right now. So if it's like um, studying for an exam, that could be one. If it's like finding a job that you can start saving up money, or if it's saving up money, maybe that's one so that you can move up on your own, right? So get all those things. And so like we would write moving out. That could be one of your major things, right? So underneath moving out, you would write the very first step that you would have to take in order to move out. And that would be saving up money, right? So we'll put saving money underneath that because you're going to need a down payment no matter what, and you're going to need monthly rent, right? So under saving money, very first thing, getting a job, right? If you don't have one already, I'm not saying that you don't, but if you don't, 
These are just examples. So getting work. Then what you're going to do is write what you need to do under get work. And that would be um, put in applications. Like, you know, like, so just basically te like teeter it down, you know, I, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, taper it down. There we go. And you're going to go all the way down. I don't know if I want to move out or not. I'm conflicted. Okay. So that would be one deciding on what it is that's at home that would make your life easier, that needs to get done, that you might be putting off because of feeling this panic right now or this depression right now. Um, basically, it's like whatever is going to make you look at what caused your depression, right? So if it's maybe it's the connection with your parents, maybe it's their treatment, maybe it's their um, maybe it's your own like um, relationship issues, you know, like like whatever it may be, use that as your starting point. And then, yeah, so it's okay to have a lot of different stuff. That, that, that actually kind of benefits the situation. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to cut these apart so that you're taking the bottom one, the very first step, only off of the paper. And you're going to put that into a little jar. And then you're going to go and you're going to have another little jar and it's going to be all the second steps and then etc right so you're going to pick out of the jar every day one of those very first steps and you're going to do it right when you pick it then after you get all of those done all of those first steps you're going to go to the next jar and you're going to do those second steps that you have in there and you're going to do those immediately as you pick them and then when you're done with that whole jar you're going to move on so what happens is instead of having to focus on one thing which might get super so suffocating and overwhelming it makes it to where it's much more bite size and you get a variety because you have these all these other things that are going on at the same time and someone is angry I just can't figure out who it, oh it's she has had a very good and kind of aura thank you I have not been reading the chats just so you guys know um, except for the ones that are from Mackenzie so don't think I'm ignoring you I'm just trying to give the focus to the the one in need right now. Okay. Um. So that's one way that you could that you could kind of like break down the um, the tension that's going on in your energetic system right now. Another way would be to listen to um, like either guided meditations if you're into that kind of thing. If you're not, then frequency tones. Um, like the the pure frequency tones to go to sleep. They're called um, binaural beats. There's also isochronic beats, and you can find them for, um, if you send me a message asking me for it, I'll send you the link for it. Um, and just listen to that with headphones to go to sleep, and it will knock you out. Um, when you can't sleep, here's another thing. When you can't sleep, Everything that's racing in your mind that's causing you to not be able to sleep, write it down and tell yourself on the top of the list, this is for tomorrow. Write tomorrow at the very top and then you're going to write down whatever's bothering you, that you can't go to sleep. Those, like the things that are racing in your mind, whatever the thoughts are. And tomorrow, then address them when it's daytime so you actually are able to deal with them because at nighttime you can't deal with them anyway so it's just your mind trying to remind you because what happens is our short-term memory especially in sh um, stressful situations will make us forget so that's why when we have like racing thoughts and we have things that like those just like impending thoughts you know like that just like keep like attacking us you know and we just like are like stop already I already know I don't want to think about it the only reason that's happening is because we're panicking, thinking that if we don't keep thinking about it, we're going to forget and we're not going to be on time or we're not going to do it or we're going to slack off or we're going to get yelled at or we're, you know, and those things can all be just calmed down if you just write them down so that your mind can finally be like, okay, they're safe right here and we'll address them when it's time. So you could even do that right now, just writing them down. If it's hard for you to breathe, make sure you're breathing through your nose only, not your mouth. So like in real deep 
belly breaths and slow breaths as possible, but as natural as possible. Because if you breathe through your nose, it's going to get your whole system energized the way it's meant to. And it's going to go and actually oxygenate you fully. Um, when we have a hard time breathing, it's because we're struggling with our ability to feel alive in life, like, like that life force, like um, oxygenation. And so that's... It's the house. She's in there, but I know this stuff works a lot. Whose house? You're definitely not a lost cause. There are no lost causes. Do not think that. But that is an amazing song by Jelly Girl. My house? Oh, I live on a graveyard. Literally. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, who's the man? Which one? There's a couple here. Like a couple dead, passed away ones. So if you can give me a description, then I'll be able to let you know. Um, but yeah, so, Mackenzie, um, the key thing is with, like, anxiety and with, like, um, that panicky feeling that we get, is there a time that he wears a gray suit? Mm, a gray suit? I'm not recognizing that one. There's ones in casual clothes. There's also ones that I don't see wearing clothes. Not that they're naked, but just like they're not full. Um, but there is an old one. And there is... Oh yeah, I don't recognize that one at all. Huge hat from the 1940s. Nope. 70s. Yeah, I don't recognize that. Maybe it's somebody that got buried recently. I haven't seen him. Um, there are three that are around me often, though, but they're not. None of them have a hat on like that. Okay, I think that hypnotherapy is working because I am in a trance by her eyes. <laughs> Can you please friend me so we can message? I did add you, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did follow you already. Did you, um, have you, I'm pretty sure I followed you. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, send me a message right now real quick. Um, and make sure you check out those videos on my page. There's lots of them. Just go through them. There's even a whole section on how to deal with narcissists and how to, um, there's ones on taking back your power. There's like so many in there that will be helpful for you. Um, there's a lot on like, uh, BPD awareness. There's a lot on, uh, there's one on, one of my pinned ones I think is on anxiety. That's a very good one. That would be very helpful for you. Um, just know that you're not a lost cause. Key is to listen to upbeat music. Even though it might be more tempting to listen to sad or like depressing or angry music right now, listen to something like country that's positive or um, even some spiritual type music. Um, if you are able to, write those things down before you go to bed so that you don't have to stress on them. Or whenever you're stressing on them, just write them down and set a time that you'll deal with them later. I wish you were my mom. You're so nice. Oh, thank you. I love country music. Yeah, exactly. So just get into your own little zone. Do the best that you can for... There's definitely an old man there. There, there. Like I said, there's a couple... Um, honestly, since I've lived on this 
because there's houses on the property that shares the graveyard and there's been I think four deaths in those houses in that house um, it's not where I live it's on the same property in the past year and then there's also been like three that have gotten hit by cars um, out on the street that's out front here so there's definitely a dark um, like it's a, a very interesting energy here um, but it's not in this building right here because um, I clear it constantly but there's definitely some old men walking around because of the fact that they are old men that and that's why they're dying it's not like they're getting killed or anything that like they're just old and they pass away <laughs> um, of, of old age you know he's angry because he's trying to communicate with you and he's not heard that's pretty crazy because I am open for communication I don't know what to say I channel them often <laughs> so if he's not getting heard then maybe it's the way that he's trying to communicate that's not being heard and maybe he would be more apt to um, try a different type of communication such as like I pick up messages often in my music when I have it on my random playlist on YouTube I allow them to communicate that way um, things like that maybe that would be a way that he could communicate or maybe he could just try to channel with me when I'm open to it but I do oftentimes check in I need a hug so bad right now virtual hug <laughs> you could you're gonna be alright I promise you you're gonna be alright just remember that right now is temporary and feelings are all temporary they don't last they don't need to last and just in your own choice of smiling did you know that it will actually literally lower the amount of anger that's being felt in that moment so and just by like even if you're tired like just sitting up and like sitting alert will actually trigger your brain into thinking that you're more awake than what you are Okay. Huh. He doesn't understand that you can't physically talk to the living. I see. Well, maybe that's why I've been yawning so much. Normally, when I'm yawning, it's because of a spirit trying to connect, but I don't know. Right now, I'm focused on Mackenzie right now, so he's going to have to wait, unfortunately. But tell him I will let him know. I will get to him tonight. but not if he's going to be angry at me for making him wait because that is just ridiculous because how would he feel if he was at work and I was there demanding that he stop working so that I could say something to him when I don't even know him that's very unfair and that's very uncalled for and it needs to be a boundary that's set so he needs to wait patiently and just like anybody on here would need to I'm a medium also and that, like I said I'm not picking up on him here I am yawning a lot so that could be that there's a spirit trying to channel in but like I said he needs to be patient until I'm not doing what I'm doing so that I can focus on him the same way that I'm focusing on the living you can do this Mackenzie I promise you you're going to be, you are doing this. Look at you. You're already doing it. You have survived another day and you are here and you are able to communicate. And that is so beautiful. And there's people like me that care a lot. And your parents, they might suck. They don't know how to show it the right way. They don't know how to show it your way. And that's okay too because it's making you so much stronger life is like um, okay spirit you're here whoever you are with the hat 
we can go over to the other medium and he will talk to you. Um, life is basically, like the universe is like a coach. Are you on sports at all? Are you in any sports? Okay. So then you'll know, though, like how it is when you have a coach. And let's say you were going to be in a sports team, and or you were going to start a sport, and you haven't done it before. You kind of have done it, you've heard about it, you've watched other people play, but you haven't actually like been the one that's in the game yet, right? So you go and you join the team, and, and when you go to um, join the team, there's two different coaches, right? One is super easy, lets you get away with everything, but then there's the other team. And the other team has a hard baller. The other team has like a coach that's very strict. And that's the team that you've seen win. So you're like, I want to be on that team. Like, let's say it's like comparing your high school basketball team versus like the Lakers, right? So you're like, well, yeah, I would want to be on the Lakers instead. So you go and you join that team. And the coach is hard. And you are going to sleep. Thank you for all right, awesome. I'll talk to you more about it later. No, that's perfect. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. That makes me happy that you will be getting your rest that you were not able to get previously. I will definitely talk to you later, and I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day if you would like to send me a message so you can talk. Okay? No, I won't. I'll be here still. Sorry, my screen's bouncing all over. Okay. How long have I been practicing? He's really from the 40s? Or is that just the style that you think? Twenties. Oh wow. Hold on. I'm gonna have to be right back for a second. I think it's gonna pause. Okay, I'm back, but I have to go because my um, I need to take this other call.
but I might be back on later still. And I will try to communicate with Paul um, if he doesn't want to go over with you. Okay. After I take this other call, but I have to go real quick. But um, yeah, when I come back on, oh, there we go. When I come back on, um, come back in if you're still around, okay? Bye, everybody.